Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I really shouldn't be making this video because I haven't tested it, but I'm almost 100% sure it'll work. I don't normally cut acrylic, and this young lady's having a problem. We've already solved the, kind of the problem, but when it eventually initially starts cutting, it leaves a little bit of frosted, jagged hole, and I think this would work. I've changed it where it's going to start cutting right there and then kind of be a smooth transmission, a transition. Instead of having to burn a hole through, it's already moving. And I just thought I'd share how I did that. I just drew a circle. Let's put this in the center of the page and we'll uh, then just draw a two point line. You, you could do anything. You don't have to do it this way, but just draw two holding down the control button and then hit P. You basically got uh, crosshairs and we'll just delete all this line. And then because these two lines are drawn in, we can just delete them. So now we have our little start. And this is the way I do plasma cutting and, and the computer program I have automatically does this. It's, it's uh, called offset cutting. Uh, we're going to completely turn around kind of look like the other one. So in the previous video, we made the start right there. So for just a second, we're going to make the start right here just to kind of show you. And now the start is down here and then you just grab those and put those two. So the starting is here. We're going to change it up a little bit. We're going to bring this node and whoop, just really use the pick tool to grab that node and have it snap right to that node. Now there's a couple things you need to do. We need to go to that. Well, you know what we'll do? We'll use an offset of 0.25 to get that out of the way for just a second. And we'll grab our shape tool again. And we'll select that node and break it apart. And then that way we'll make this the new node. So we're going to close the curve. Instead of going up here, close curve, break curve. So we've got the starting point right here where we want it. Now we can bring in our other object and just arrow key down. And while that is selected, select it again, hold down the shift key and select the outer part. Go up to range and combine them together. Now they're one item. And then the only other thing you need to check is this one is completely opposite of what we want. It's going to start here. So just select all those nodes and right click and put reverse sub path. Now this thing should start here, cut around the acrylic. And like in the previous video, you need to make sure it cuts the hole first. Let's just do that. Let's go to window. Tell you what, let's break. Let's take one of these away so it just won't be confusing. When we look at it under the monitor, uh, I have trouble getting my zoom sometime on my laptop. We go to Windows, Dockers, Object Manager, and open that layer in the ellipse. This ellipse right here is still on the bottom, so it's going to cut first. Now there's actually a, an ellipse. Oh, up there she had drawn a circle or something. So anyway, that, I'd be really curious if somebody would test that with acrylic and see if that works. I might even try it tomorrow myself. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.